Sharda Lambert here. I'm back with another video and today we are talking about hiring a nanny, the things you need to know. So let's get into it. So let's get this straight. You're hiring a nanny. A nanny to look after your children and to do all the house care duties related to the child. So that includes laundry, ironing, cooking, etc. You're not hiring a babysitter. You're not hiring an old pair. You're not hiring a household manager or a PA, um, certainly not a servant, okay? You're hiring a nanny, so let's get that straight. Make sure you check the original certificates of your nanny. So they need to have their DBS, the nanny insurance, the pediatric first aid, and any childcare qualifications. Make sure you see the original certificate. Do it legally, always do it the legal way. Do not do cash in hand. Do not pay under the books. Do not do um, part cash, part, part electrical payment. No, no, no. Do it the legal way. Go through a payroll system, a nanny payroll system. You can pay them a fee every month and they will sort out everything for you. So when you're doing it legally, you need to make sure that you're paying the nanny's NI, the nanny's pension. Um, if they have any student loan, that gets paid as well. And you also need to make sure that the taxes are paid as well. Bear in mind, you're also gonna need all these things below that you need to consider as well. Tips on keeping your nanny happy and keeping your nanny with your family so she doesn't leave, yeah? <laughs> these are the things that you need to make sure you're doing. Performance reviews. So if your nanny is, you see your nanny is going overboard and beyond, you can see that, so reward her for it. Even if that means buying her a gift or giving her a bonus or um, giving her a pay rise without her having to ox. If you see her putting in the work, reward her for it. You also wanna make sure you're having regular reviews, whether that's once a month, once a week, or every three months. Regular reviews really matter because it gives you a chance to talk about things that are working and things that are not working and to come to a resolution together. Make sure you're listening to your nanny and you're respecting them. You've hired a childcare professional for a reason. So make sure when they're giving you advice, you're taking it in and you're taking heed. Promote professional development. So if there's any courses that you want your nanny to take or if your nanny wants to take a course, offer to pay for it. It really does help as well because the more experienced your nanny is, the better it is for you. Your nanny will know more and can help you and your family a lot more as well. So that means if your nanny wants to go to nanny conferences or they have any online courses that they want to do, offer to pay for it. Um, it will really be a really good investment. I always say to families, invest in your nanny and she will invest in your family. If you require the nanny to drive their own car, make sure you are paying maintenance for the car and also the petrol. If you want them to drive your car, um, make sure that you give them an allowance in terms of petrol, make sure the car is in good working condition. And if you do want the nanny to drive their own car, make sure you're paying car insurance. You and the nanny can come to an agreement together to pay 50-50 or you pay cover all the costs. If you decide to travel with your nanny, so you want your nanny to travel with you and your family, that is a separate payment. So what you pay her on a weekly basis is completely separate to what you pay her when she travels with you so it will be an add-on fee that will be required if you require your nanny to travel with you because in that time she can't go home and she can't work for other families so you need to compensate her for that set ground rules to avoid any misunderstandings so any boundaries or any kind of rules that you hope your nanny would follow make sure that is discussed before you give them the job offer so for instance some families like the nanny to take full control to plan play dates um, to take them out on day trips some families prefer to organize that themselves and let their nanny know what the situation is make sure that's fully discussed and both parties agree on the situation if anything goes wrong because we are all human you're not always going to get on make sure you address it immediately in the best most possible way which i would say sit down and communicate together you know we'll say do you have a minute after work or maybe um get get one of the uh, one parent to look after the child while you and the nanny go have a chat together and you can sort out your differences to work better together as a if team. you're going to use an agency to hire a nanny there is going to be a fee it's a lot more expensive but it will save you a lot of time because they do all the checks for you and um, make sure if you do it yourself that you're checking references 
and like I said before, checking the original certificates. Always practice being an ethical employer, so being fair with your nanny and giving them guaranteed hours. So whether you need them for the amount of hours you've agreed to, less or more, you pay them their overtime, or if it's less, you still pay them the set rate that you agreed on. When you're thinking of hiring a nanny, it's very important that you go gross. So you calculate all the fees in gross pay, because what you don't want to do is do net and then find out you have loads more money coming out. So you also need to think of the additional costs as well. Holiday pay, sick pay, bereavement pay, um, annual leave. Uh, there's so much things that you need to consider. So make sure that you cover the wide spectrum of all the different costs that could come into place. And most importantly, just in case of an accident to cover yourself, make sure you have employer's indemnity insurance. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and share it to anyone that you think might find it useful. You guys know where to find me on social media at Nanny Shards and I'm on LinkedIn at Sharda Lambert. Take care and see you soon. Bye.